GPA and Dwayne Meteorologist Bobby Bobby Martich here with your outlook for November 1st, 2021. It is the new month, and after a very warm October, we're going to have some significant changes that are going to be felt this week uh, behind a cold front coming on Tuesday, and we'll get into that in this video. Some below average temperatures uh, for a change expected for much of the first week, actually a little bit beyond that. Uh, before we get into that, today's video forecast is sponsored by Kinsley's Family Market. Kinsley's is the world's largest shop, right? And the ShopRite logo means they're all about food, they're all about savings, and they're all about you. They have delivery seven days a week of the freshest produce, seafood, and meats. They handle 16 local wineries, have a great beer selection, and their own in-house smoked meats department, pharmacy, and the largest shop-from-home department in the entire area. They are Kinsley ShopRite, located at 107 Kinsley's Drive in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania, and are proud sponsors of the Monday forecast video. So again, we're going to be colder than average to start off the month, and I'm going to be detailing this every Sunday. Going through the entire winter, we're going to have a, uh, the Weather Weeklies are going to be starting again this Sunday coming up. So we're six days away from that. Uh, that is uh, Sunday, November 7th is the uh, when that's coming back in. New format this time, we're going to have, uh, I'm going to be on the video just like I am now. I'm not doing the hat sponsorships like I do uh, in the daily forecast videos, but I will be opening up a block ad on that, uh, you know, for, for anybody that's interested in having the uh, block ad sponsorship on the video itself. It'll be right below me where you're going to see me on the video and then right below me, there'll be a spot for that. So uh, that starts this Sunday. What it, what that does is the, uh, it's a weekly blog that goes, your know, video blog that goes throughout the entirety of winter, uh, straight through the end of winter. And it's going to be uh, every Sunday, every Sunday morning, we release that. It's a take a look at the long range and some signals that we have, if there are any are on the horizon. Uh, starting off early in the season, I think we're going to talk more pattern and what we can expect going into uh, into winter what my expectations are we don't do winter outlooks and i don't do anything generally beyond five six weeks but i'll give you kind of some insight into what our where our, our thoughts are as far as how the upcoming coming winter will play out at least early on uh, and that will begin this sunday november 7th so uh today is a mostly sunny day and it's going to be very slightly below average not much okay uh but uh, we're going to have a cold front that's going to come through here on tuesday there could be uh, a shower with that, or a few showers that come with that, just light showers, and uh, nothing too overly disruptive, but that uh, is going to take place uh, either, you know, late morning into uh, part of the afternoon on Tuesday. Tuesday's highs are not going to be as high because of that, so 50 to 55 is a spread with the opportunity for a few showers as that rotates through, but not a lot of precipitation, certainly. Uh, back to mostly sunny on Wednesday, and we're going to have this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and going into the weekend period, we're going to have temperatures there that are going to be uh, in the 40s in some places for highs 40s okay so it's gonna be kind of chilly here's the temperature anomalies here's today again very very slightly below average today as we move forward you can see all the blues just keep get keep uh increasing here then you get in these greens the greens are actually indicating uh temperatures that are like seven eight nine ten degrees below average so it's gonna be pretty chilly average this time of year is in either tire either either side of 60 so we're talking about Kind of like, you know, 50, 52, some places up north will be in the 40s. So it's going to be kind of chilly on some of those days. And this is going to stick around for a while, we think, going right through uh, the end of the week. And then once we go beyond this, uh, get past the weekend, you'll have some slight moderation. But it's still going to be slight, slightly below average going into the second week of November. So this is going to be sticking around for a little bit, we think. It's not going to be something that disappears. We're also going to have a system moving off to our south here. We're keeping an eye on this, but it looks like the newest trends are keeping this south of the region. Uh, there's an opportunity that there, uh, uh, for a few showers, mainly in our southern areas. Uh, you could get an isolated shower a little bit further north, but this is going to be late Thursday night and early Friday morning. So if you see in our local forecast, we'll only have like, Harry, like a 30% chance of that. Uh, down here in the southeast PA, we have a 40% chance of scattered showers in the late Thursday night into Friday morning time frame. But after that, we are high and dry for the weekend, it looks like. Saturday, Sunday, now looks like it's going to be mostly sunny. Uh, there were mentions on social media, on my social media, uh, people tagging me in things that other people are saying, please don't do that. I, I, I don't care what some random person is saying about some model showing snow in our region. If I'm not talking about snow, it's not happening. Okay, I'm not. You know, it's just there, there's no reason. There's nothing showing that. Uh, there's no indication of that. And every once in a while, you'll have a, a weenie model run that will show uh, some snow in our area, and it's not a plausible idea. This is a progressive trough that we're dealing with, 
Uh, so even though you have something rounding the base of the trough here, it's a very flat progressive trough, so it's not really nothing. There's really nothing to bring it up the coast. Now we'll keep an eye on it just in case, but I wouldn't get excited about this. All right, and there's certainly not enough. Uh, for snow yet that will come with time it's below average is relative to the time of year again high temperatures are on either side of 60 right now so even if you're below average or 10 degrees below average 50 is still not cold enough or for snow okay um, might be cold enough for at night overnight in the far northern areas for some higher elevations uh, to get some flakes mixing in but uh, not with this event here at the end of the week okay so that'll come with time I think again uh, the second half of November we'll get a little bit more uh, in, in the way of chances for for some snow or maybe at least snow flakes to come in the picture one thing we are gonna have this week with the cold temperatures is frosts and freezes across the area we are forecasting uh, across uh, several locations within our region to hit freezing but below freezing in fact for lows a couple nights this week and there's gonna be some clear nights involved with some of these nights coming up here this week on several occasions where you can have some frost and maybe some heavy frosts involved with that too. So uh, we're going to identify that as we get uh, further in time. I think Thursday, uh, Tuesday night might be the first opportunity, but he might have a little bit way in the way of uh, clouds and too much wind on on Tuesday night for that. But Wednesday night, I think, is your your prime night uh, as of right now. We'll take a little better look at. Uh, we're going to take these one at a time here, but it looks like Tuesday is our first opportunity for some areas farther to the north, as long as the wind cooperates for at least frost. Uh, but once we get into Wednesday night, I think the winds are going to be a lot calmer. You're going to have uh, clear skies and temperatures that are going to get at or below freezing for a lot of areas in the interior. So certainly our first frost and freezes. And I want to keep you up to date on that each single day through the, throughout the week, because I know a lot of people have sensitive plants that have to be covered and brought in and things like that uh mums you know whatever uh so there's going to be some some days this week going straight through next weekend that has the opportunity to be at or below freezing so we'll identify that as we uh, get closer on each single day this week but right now it looks like the only thing we're dealing with here on uh, in the immediate term is this tuesday showers deal and it's just our southeastern areas it looks like this slide this is sliding along the base of the trough on uh, on tuesday during the day late morning early afternoon and then it slides slides off to our south and east after that point. Again, uh, this is on Tuesday. So today's a mostly sunny day and very slightly below average across the region. I'm EPA meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for November 1st, 2021. Have a great Monday.